Hello YouTube, in this video I want to show you how I make a little porch out of this big block. So a little porch is good to say, it's a meaty porch I would say. For small parts I will porch, I don't have to start my big porch, just this small one with a small burner, which I will take this one. First of all we are going to measure the length of the block and do it in half. So measure half out, so we got two 31 centimeters. Uh, this one cost me about eight bucks, so it's not very expensive. One fourth will cost about four bucks, just the material itself. Without the burner, just the fourth, and we're just gonna use this block. We don't use anything else. And now, start cutting it. I told my girlfriend it's such a weak material so she wanted to try out herself and she thinks it's pretty weak too. So anyone can saw this lot apart in a few minutes with any saw. You can even use a kitchen knife with a weight grind. So but it's pretty dull after this. Mm, looks pretty good, huh? I want to make a hole which is about 24 centimeters deep or about 10 inches, 9 and a half inches and has 10 centimeters in diameter and is exactly in the middle of the whole block so we get the same thickness of insulation around the whole board. a lot of fun to work with this stuff. Pretty ugly hole, but we'll fix that. Now, what I forgot my plan was to make the porch. With the flat bottom. Now to get a real nice flat surface, I'm gonna <laughs> use a rasp. Now I think that's way good enough. Porch. Now, measure out how deep I am. Oh, I'm about 23 centimeters. 
Well, I guess that's enough. Not just for a rough plan where to drill the hole inside. I guess it will be here, and we drill it about a 45 degree angle downward. Half a bit more behind. That's good, good. Let's put more down. That's a little too small. Okay. I'm just gonna rattle around the wheel. <laughs> okay, now we got it pretty awesome. You can see, you see the burner inside here. Uh, now we're gonna clean out the whole thing with the compressor. I'm gonna blow out the dust and everything, all fine dust, and then we are pretty much finished and ready to test fire. Uh -huh. Okay, one thing I decided, it looks way more beautiful, I'm gonna refine the edges a little bit. Yep, and I think it looks awesome. Okay, now that we're finished with the forge, uh, it looks pretty awesome. Next thing, we're gonna test fire it. Now for the first test firing, turn on the gas. Okay, I think this first test firing was a fail. The forge did not get hot enough. So, something different. I'm gonna take a bigger burner. And I'm gonna make another forge with a smaller hole for the small burner. But uh, with this forge, I'm gonna make the hole a little bit bigger. And put out my, or put my normal burner for the big forge inside. And we'll see what happens then. Okay, now another try with a bigger burner set up. I think that looks way better than before. And 
this I guess should work out pretty well for small forging projects even for bigger projects like knives up to about 20 30 centimeters should work pretty well and I will try it out make a video about it and we'll see to make whatever you want or whatever your specifications need so I decided to use this cheap burner for making it making it as cheap as possible the burner costs about 10 bucks and this piece of brick is now about two bucks and I'm gonna test fire it up Okay, now one thing I found out, if you make a forge you need a big burner, those small things are just not good enough for heating up steel, especially when it's a bit thicker steel, so say about 8 to 10 millimeters, you just need a bigger burner or else you can't forge very well. I'm going to try out to mount in the big burner again here in the small, very small forge and we will see what happens then. Okay, now with a bit bigger setup with a burner I made myself out of three different pipe sizes. A very very easy burner. If you want I kinda make a video about it, how to make one like this because uh, sooner or later I will need a new one or I need to repair this one. And yeah let's just go on. self-made burner like this works much better than a cheap bought burner like this one. video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and thanks for watching